Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, courtesy of Porsche of Nashua in Nashua, New Hampshire, we have the 2021 Porsche Taycan 4S. Can I just say, right off the bat, this is what I hope electric cars become. Look at this, this is all panoramic glass. There we go, and neutral, look at that. I believe we have the sticker right here. Yes, sir. 131, not bad, um, given what this is. Cherry metallic, 4S, uh, storage package, seat ventilation, surround view, lane change assist, and the 14-way power seats. Yeah, 562 horsepower in the 4S. The turbo, that's gonna beep because the license plate. The turbo the turbo S is 710 horsepower on launch control. Let's put that into perspective. The turbo, I believe is 610, low sixes. But the turbo and turbo S are the exact same at higher speeds power wise the thing with this is this is not slow <laughs> around town this is absolutely insanely fast insanely fast like <laughs> insane but what I love about the Taycan, especially over the Model S, is it doesn't shout electric car in your face. It drives like a normal car. I mean, all right, with stabbing the throttle and having it just take off, yeah, that's gonna take a bit of getting used to. I daily drive a Hellcat and this kind of takes your breath away and really surprises you but the regen is not very aggressive I know you can change modes and all that I haven't really messed with it but you're looking around and other than the silent aspect of it you're not overwhelmed with the sense of it's electric love electric and it's not forcing you to a adopt electric it's just hey this is an electric car option we made it a Porsche and it really does truly drive like a Porsche um, you can't really defeat physics so when you put all the weight of the car down low essentially on a skateboard chassis where the battery motors and everything is all one of the lowest parts of the car it's going to handle beautifully. You really can't overcome physics. A lot of companies have tried, but you can't overcome physics. And as soon as you lower the center of gravity, you improve handling. So starting out, this car is already gonna be good. But after stepping out of a 911 and a Macan GTS, I feel at home. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel foreign. It's just a Porsche. And I think they hit the nail on the head with this car.
to be honest, yeah, you could tell it's an electric car, but it doesn't drive that much different. Unlike Tesla, Tesla, where every second you're aware it's electric, it's electric, it's electric. This is, yes, it's electric, but we're not bragging about it. What I love about Porsche is they know how to design a car and engineer a car to be the best driving car in its segment. And compared to a Model S, which is a good car, because again, can't beat physics. All the weight's down low, it's gonna handle pretty decently, even if you don't touch anything. This drives better. It just does. I don't feel like I'm a replaceable item like I do in the Model S, especially with autopilot. I feel like I'm not doing anything in a Model S, but just kind of coaching it. This, you, are, you feel like you're part of the equation, and that makes a driver's car. If you want to be one of the best driving cars in the segment, involve the driver. And even though, let's be honest, there's no engine noise, this is no manual gearbox, even though there is a second gear. You're not doing anything. But, you feel involved. The steering on this, of course, fully electric. Well, I don't know if it's fully electric, but definitely electric assist. It's not hydraulic, I don't believe. It's phenomenal. The wheel itself is perfect. Of course, you don't have paddle shifters behind it, but I don't care. It's good. It is good. And then let's say, all right, I'm, I'm bored, I wanna have fun. In less than a second, you gain 10 mile an hour. In less than a second. The <laughs> and this is, uh, I think you do have a Tycom 4, not a 4S. But at the end of the day, this is still entry level. This isn't a Turbo S. If I've only, this is my first time in a 4S. I've driven a Turbo, a Turbo S, and now the 4S. I'm not begging for more power. What, do I want to experience it? Absolutely, because launch control on the Turbo S is something else. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't need it. I really don't. This is a good car, guys. This is a good car. And if I were to buy this or a Model S, I don't think Tesla would see my money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.